Hello, welcome back to another video. My name's Alex and in this video I'm going to be working on my solar panel. Uh, last weekend my brother-in-law very kindly came around to help um, and he and I together we managed to take off the existing solar setup which was two 260 watt panels uh, and get this one on top of the roof of the van. Uh, this one is a 415 watt panel um, so I've got like 80% of the power for half the weight. So this is all in aid of trying to reduce the weight of the van. Um, so it gives me a bit more space also. So where your sat used to be uh, used to be a solar panel, uh, it actually gives me a bit more space to put a max air fan in, which, which is something when we went to Italy in June, uh, we found actually there wasn't a lot of airflow outside of the van, so therefore there wasn't a lot of airflow inside of the van, and uh, we found it quite quite stuffy. So uh, one of the benefits we can put a fan in. Um, if you haven't seen any of those videos, go back and have a look. I'll leave a little card up here, uh, and you guys can uh, can go and have a look at the. Uh, our little trip to Italy it was very very nice um, so yeah so one of the things that I ran out of daylight last weekend I didn't film any of taking this off because I just wanted to get it done and my brother-in-law I don't think he's too happy to be on video um, so yeah I took so last weekend I ran out of daylight but also I uh, didn't realize didn't get my measurements right and one of the supports actually uh, knocks into one of the um, cable glands I've got going through my roof for my for my cables so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video I'm going to be modifying the brackets that I've made um, to make it so that it fits the, the roof so I think what I've built here is a bit overkill um, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, this bar that runs underneath the back here um, I'm not too sure you can see it in the shop I'm actually going to cut the center out of it um, because it's it's held down in several places along the side uh, at the front um, and on the other side, so I, I feel quite confident that um, it's got enough mounting points to the uh, to the roof. Um, and also, the air is going to be coming at it from the front of the van, um, so that's where the most lift is going to be coming from. Once the air is either under it or over it, I think at the back by that point it will just be um, uh, shooting, you know, shooting off the back of the van. I don't expect to be going a million miles an hour in reverse, so I don't think this is going to be a problem. So anyway, without any further ado, I'll get on with it.
so the weather's just come in it's just, so I'm a bit out of breath after uh, getting all my tools in um, yeah it's just started absolutely throwing it down the forecast says it's not meant to do this for another hour but you know you think having the national uh, forecasting agency in the same city as you you'd think they'd get the weather right but just looking out the window but you know here's what it is so I've just uh, grabbed all my tools off the roof um, wait for the shower to pass and then uh, I'll go up there with a heat gun and uh, finish off that heat shrink so uh, yeah the, the cable wasn't long enough actually to go from the panel into the uh, little cable gland that's on the roof um, so I was just extending that and then uh, yeah that should go and then I can put some MC4 connectors on the uh, on the other end inside to connect up to the existing wiring so I've got one side of the uh, the aluminium profile um, bolted on and uh, I've just got to do the other side now but I'll wait for the shower to pass but by the time I've done that um, it'll be dark probably because it's four o'clock now here in the UK and it's uh, I've had to wait basically all morning for the showers to pass but yeah um, I'll I might have to go and get a weatherproof coat and just uh, carry on in the rain maybe but uh, yeah it's all good it's getting a bit gnarly like that bit of polystyrene I was using it was just to take the weight because I was trying to hold it up but that panel's much heavier to you know try and support and work on at the same time so um, I haven't left it propped up there now with the wind it's uh, it's starting to get a bit unstable <laughs> okay let me give you a quick overview of what I've just done so the problem was this cable gland on the, the, the rear, rearmost one um, that was touching the bar that was going across here so I've only done one side so far um, but I've glued on some of these M caps um, just to make it look pretty uh, and then basically I've just shortened it um, so I've got this bracket here that brings it to this side rail and the side rail actually bolts into these little T-slot um, bolts on my roof uh, and then I've just had to extend my cable from this side um, because they come from both sides of the panel rather than in the middle which is a bit frustrating um, it meant the meter of cable that I had wasn't actually long enough so I've just heat shrunk the uh, the crimp connector um, in the middle there and then when I get to the other side of the van I'll put that through the gland because the roof is curved um, I've had to put in these little aluminium spacer blocks previously um, so that allows the, the bar to go straight over the top and I don't know if you can see in this angle um, but right at the front there, there's a uh, there's a little bolt which um, goes through the centre of the roof, and that goes into that front bar. So that's how my solar panel's mounted. I've used this T-slot system, and it's only got slots on three sides, so this out, outer edge looks a bit more pretty. Um, well, at least it will once it's, once it's been cleaned. So i probably won't film anymore because uh, I'm losing the light. Um, but the other side would be pretty much the same, um, and then it'll just be a case of. Uh, bolting the thing back to the, the roof of the van. So as I explained at the beginning of the video This is it's only one panel now um, Whereas I had two and this one panel weighs about it's about kilo for kilo the same um, The panels are the same weight. So basically I've gone half the weight for 80% of the power So yeah, I'm kind of happy with this uh, And I think the only thing I'll do is I might use some of the old rails the, the quarter round stuff just to um, add some like roof rails up here um, whilst I'm up here because basically once I put a ceiling up um, I won't be able to get to the underside of the bolts again so I might just take that opportunity um, because aluminium's not very heavy and at least this T-slot stuff isn't very heavy at all so it'll just give me some options in the future that if I do need to bolt something else up here then I can um, and it won't get in the way of the uh, it won't get in the way of the max air fan so yeah so I think that's where we'll leave this one um, it's only brief there's not a lot of work going on here but this weekend's been so wet um, I was meant to be marshalling at a motorsport event yesterday and it actually got called off due to um, too much water um, yeah the motorbikes couldn't get across a ford here in Devon and um, they might have got swept away in the in the water um, normally it's only about that deep um, but uh, yeah it was about a foot and a half I think uh, or four, 45 centimetres for us here in the UK um, it's uh, yeah it's quite quite strong I think people on a Honda Cub 50 would probably uh, get swept away in it so yeah been a bit limited in what I can do um, in between the showers and yeah hopefully um, I can get a bit more done before it gets really dark uh, and I can get this strapped down so it doesn't blow away in the wind because uh, that would be another problem so anyway thank you so much for watching please do subscribe give a, give the video a like and leave me a comment if there's anything you think that I should be doing differently 
and I'll see you on the next video. That'll probably be uh, putting some uh, closed cell foam up on my on my roof, um, on my ceiling, on my van to try and prevent the uh, the condensation um, problem that I was having. But uh, I'll talk more about that in the next video. So anyway, if you have got this far, thanks so much for watching, and uh, you'll see me in the next one. Goodbye.